डियर स्टूडेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट द रिलेशन बिटवीन स्ट्रेस एंड रेट ऑफ स्ट्रेन कंपोनेंट दिस इज आल्सो नोन एज स्टोक्स हाइपोथेसिस इन दिस डायग्राम वी कंसीडर दैट द अपर प्लेट इज मूविंग विथ ए वेलोसिटी स्मॉल यूज कल टू कैपिटल यू नाउ बाउंड्री कंडीशन आर गिवन बाई स्मॉल यूज कल टू कैपिटल यू वी इज कल टू जीरो एंड डब्ल्यू इज कल टू जीरो एंड डेल्टा बाई डेल्टा जेड इज कल टू जीरो दिस इज आवर इक्वेशन नंबर वन small u small v and small w are the component of velocity in x y and z direction capital is the moving plate velocity of the upper plate so the shearing stress is equal to pxy where the pxy is the stress component in y stress component y in x direction this is equal to mu into du by dy this is our equation number 2 from general motion of a fluid element We write as 2f is equal to delta w by delta y plus delta b by delta z. 2g is equal to delta u by delta z plus delta w by delta x. And 2h is equal to delta b by delta x plus delta u by delta y. And a is equal to delta u by delta x. B is equal to delta b by delta y. And c is equal to delta w by delta z. And 2h is equal to delta b by delta y plus delta b by delta x. Now using all these boundary conditions, then we get 2f, 2g, and 2h is equal to delta u by delta y. it means there is u is the function of y because when u is the function of y it means pxy is equal to twice mu into h then pxy is equal to twice mu into txy so the pxy is proportional to the txy pxy the stress y component in x direction and txy is the strain y component in x direction so the stress is the proportional to the strain this relation shows there is the stress component are linear function of the linear function of the rate of strain component in tension notation this can be written as as pij is equal to a into tij plus b delta ij where delta ij is a chronical delta in chronical delta delta ij is equal to 1 if i is not equal to j and if i is not equal to j then this is value is 0 so similarly pxy is equal to a into txy plus b into delta ij if a is equal to twice mu And h is equal to t x y, then p x y is equal to a into t x y plus delta x y is equal to zero. So the p x y is equal to twice mu into t x y. So or or in another word, we can say right as stress is the proportional to the strain. In general case, if a is equal to b is equal to c is not equal to zero, then our equation four become p x y is equal to twice mu into t x x plus b. Similarly, p y y is equal to twice mu into t y y plus b, and p z z is equal to twice mu into t z z plus b. So the p x x is equal to twice mu into small a plus b. p y y is equal to twice mu into small b plus capital B. p z z is equal to twice mu into c plus capital B. This is our equation number five, six, and seven. When we adding equation five, six, and seven, then We get p x x plus p y y plus p z z is equal to twice mu a plus b plus c plus twice three b. By the principle of stress component are different from minus p. Then p x s p y and p z is equal to minus p. So the b is equal to minus p minus two by three mu delta u by delta x plus delta b by delta y plus delta w by delta z. Here p x x p y p y y and p z z are normal stress component. T x x t y y t z z are normal stress component again if we put in this equation number 5 then equation 5 become p x x is equal to twice mu into delta u by delta x minus p plus twice 3 by mu del u by del x plus del v by del y plus del w by del z similarly p y y is equal to twice mu into delta v by delta y minus p plus 2 by 3 mu del u by del x plus del v by del y plus del w by del z and p z z is equal to twice mu delta w by delta z is equal to minus p plus 2 by 3 mu del u by del x plus del v by del y plus del w by del z so in from all these results in general tensor notation we can it write as p i j is equal to twice mu into t i j minus p plus 2 by 3 mu divergence of q into delta i j where p i j is the stress j component in i direction T I J is strain component in I direction. Mu is the viscosity. Divergence of Q is equal to delta U by delta X plus delta V by delta Y plus delta W by delta Z. This is our equation number eight. So from equation eight, it is this is the required relation between viscous stress tension and rate of stress 
tension and it is also known as Stokes hypothesis and Stokes law of friction. This equation is valid for also Newtonian fluid. So that this relation is known as relation between stress and stress tensor. It has many importance in fluid dynamics because from this equation we convert stress component into strain component and strain component into stress component. So the component of stress and component of strain they are proportional to it is that if stress is increasing then strain is also increasing. If stress is decreasing then strain is also decreasing. So this result is known as also relation between stress and strain tension and Stokes hypothesis and very very useful in the fluid dynamics theory. Thank you.